to assure stakeholders and tourists that Tanzania is safe for visitors, rebuild trust in our guests, and implement policies and guidelines in place to restore their confidence in strengthening the tourism industry. I'm grateful to all Tanzanian tourism stakeholders for putting into practice the national guidelines for tourism activities in Tanzania, the SOPs, which has assisted in obtaining this stamp. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this stamp launched here today is for all of us, the government, the tourism stakeholders, and all Tanzanians. It is our responsibility to boost our tourism sector with all the energy and vigor anywhere in the world. I urge you to use this stamp as an opportunity to obtain many more tourists during the pandemic, where other countries still have not opened their boundaries for tourism. I now ask the Deputy Minister, the Permanent Secretary, the Deputy Permanent Secretary of the Minister of Natural Resources and Tourism, the chairman, the chairman of the TTB, the Managing Director of TTB, the Executive Secretary of TCT, to join me here and launch the stamp issued by the WTTC on your all behalf. This thing. Honorable Minister, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as the front row has stood before us, I request Hosa to give them the folders. And Honorable Minister, I will request that you all hold the folders for a photo opportunity. While at the back on the big screen, ladies and gentlemen, we have prepared animation of how now the safe travel stamp will be used alongside with Unforgettable Tanzania uh, logo so that we can all see. And this stamp is for all of our publications to be used. Now I invite Honorable Minister to say the words. <laughs> Tanzania is safe in the use of safe travel stamp from the World Travel and Tourism Council is now officially launched. <laughs> Tanzania and together. Another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, and this signifies that together we have all launched the use of the stamp. If I can have one more time the show of the folders while well, you can get the background, please photographers, this is your moment. I've created this moment just for you guys. So as if you can see the folders and you can see the beautiful smiling faces, I know Anna will miss that he doesn't smile often. But for this one, I'm sure he'll smile, you see? Thank you. If I can have Honorable Minister remain and together with, um, yes, Mr. Rubimbana. The rest, you can take a seat. Um, since this stamp is also for private sector, I wish to also create another photo opportunity for our ladies and gentlemen from the press to signify that this stamp is not only owned by the government, but it's for private sector. So on behalf of private sector, Honorable Minister, kindly join hands or shake hands with Mr. Rubimbana to show that 
you have given also the strength to the private sector. And yes, we can clap. <laughs> and together with that, I think you also have invitation to have others to join. Okay, and for those uh, special guests that the minister has requested that he join on behalf of tourism to broadcast the entertainment industry. So if we can have all of the invited guests by the minister, um, uh, Diamond Platinum, please lead the CEO of Wasafi. And together with Salam, please. Oh, Moje Moje. Yes, all these are uh, TCT uh, stakeholders um, because they are carrying Tanzanian flag once they go beyond our borders to play their music or in the entertainment, fashion and industry. Um, they always carry the Tanzania unforgettable destination with them. So I now welcome Zuchu. Zuchu, is, she's an upcoming artist. We thank you for your presence and your beautiful smile, obviously. Thank you. Now, Mr. Salam, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you so much. Um, also, we have um, Harmonize. Harmonize, Mr. Harmonize. These are the people who are carrying our flag, especially the flag of Tanzania, to show the world through their entertainment industry that Tanzania is indeed unforgettable. Um, now I'd like to also call Lady Milan, Lady Milan Magese. Through her work internationally beyond Tanzanian borders, she's been carrying Tanzanian flags, especially in the tourism sector with her and we recognize her presence and her efforts. Thank you so much. Uh, Honorable Minister, uh, these are the people behind the, uh, behind the, uh, behind the curtain that have been so those are representatives from the entertainment, center, entertainment industry, now from the public sector. From the public sector, I'd like to call upon the CEO of AACC, the CEO of, I think I've seen Tower, Air Tanzania, oh, Deputy Minister too, NCT, Kitty, please. Yes, and Katibunku and Madam, can you join the podium, please? These are representatives from the public sector that together have worked tirelessly to make sure that Tanzania obtained the safe travel stamp and together we will work to promote the stamp across the border of Tanzania. Asante Nisana. Now with a very special, uh, yes, um, before Hotel Elias, because since the chair of the board was there, I'd like to call upon chair of the board together with board members. I understand among us there are board members.
this is a um, very special consideration. These are the people who have been giving us marching orders. We don't sleep. If they cough, we catch a sneeze. <laughs> That is Tanzania Tourism Board, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Now I would like to call upon a representative from the private sector again. I see hoteliers, I've seen Serena and others in the hotel industry and airline industry, I believe. Kosota. Kosota as well. I've seen Kosota. And for those invited guests who did not get the, uh, the folder, inside the folder there is also um, SOPs which have been launched by the minister a um, couple months ago, but we have reprinted them for this special occasion with the logo on it. So make sure before you leave you have your folder with the stamp, but also with the SOP book. Can we, did we get all of them? This is a large group. Did we get all of them? I think they got it. They say yes. Okay, okay. Technology. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I thank you, Honorable Minister. Please. Okay. kabla kabla sijaenda kukaa najua kizungu kigumu sana sema nimeona tu wa dada ndo walikuwa wanakipatia patia lakini like, sisi wanyamwezi kutoka huko mikoani tunajiumauma tu hapa lakini haswa haswa lengo la hii nembo na ndio maana tumefanya kuwa na event hii kubwa uh, ni kuitambulisha nchi yetu kwamba ni destination salama ni nchi chache sana ambazo zimefanikiwa kupata hii nembo ya safe travels. Kwa hivyo ni nembo ya fahari kwenye sekta ya utalii kwa zama tulizopo. Na hii itatoa confidence kwa wageni huko nje kabla hawajaja hapa watakapoiona kwenye matangazo yetu ya utalii. Kwa hivyo kuanzia sasa video zetu, picha zetu tutaweka nembo ya safe travels. Mtu akiona tu hiyo nembo ataamini kwamba Tanzania ni salama. Kwa hivyo atapata uh, confidence ya kubuku safari yake kuja Tanzania. Uh, kwa hivyo ninatoa wito kwa wadau wote waliofanikiwa kuhudhuria kwenye sherehe hii na wale ambao hawakuhudhuria kuitumia nembo hii kwa kadri inavyowezekana. Kwa hivyo mabalozi wetu kama wasanii ambao mna followership kubwa kwenye mitandao, watu mashuhuri kwenye video za ambazo mnatoa uh, kwa ajili ya shughuli mbalimbali ambazo mnafanya kwenye picha ambazo mnatoa mabango ambayo mnatoa mnaruhusa ya kutumia hii nembo ya safe travels ukiweka tu pale mtu atakuja kuhudhuria kwenye event yako akiamini kwamba upo katika nchi ambayo ni salama na kiukweli Tanzania ni salama tunaendelea na juhudi zetu katika maeneo mbalimbali kwenye entertainment industry kwenye mikutano safari za ndege kwenye mahoteli kwenye hifadhi kwenye fukwe kote mambo yanaendelea ba ukitembea jioni Dar es Salaam nightlife imerudi kama ilivyokuwa kabla ya ugonjwa wa corona na hii ni dalili kwamba tuko salama tusinge kuwa salama maana yake tungeshuhudia watu wakilazwa mamia kwa maelfu kwenye mahospitali tungeshuhudia misiba kila kona lakini dalili kwamba hatuna misiba hatuna watu waliolazwa kwenye mahospitali inaonesha kwamba nchi yetu ni salama na corona haipo hata kama zimebaki pockets za hapa na pale lakini sio significant na ndio maana juzi zuchu wamefanya event hakuna aliyeugua corona pale watu wameenjoy wamemwangalia binti anafanya mambo yake wamerudi nyumbani wamepumzika na baada ya hapo hakuna mtu aliyeugua Wiki iliyopita tumeona Alikiba amefanya tamasha kule Mtwara 
na anajipanga kwenda kufanya lingine huko Kigoma watu wako salama maisha yanaendelea harmonize kafanya tamasha kule Dodoma maelfu ya watu wamekusanyika kila kitu kinaenda vizuri hakuna baada ya pale tungetarajia tuanze kuona maambukizi hakuna uh, bahati nzuri mimi ni mtaalamu wa afya ya jamii kwa hivyo haya ni mambo yangu katika hali yoyote ile baada ya event kubwa kama hizi wanazofanya wasanii ama ile tuliyofanya sisi CCM kwenye chama chetu pale Dodoma tungeanza kushuhudia kiwango cha maambukizi kuongezeka kama kweli kungekuwa kuna watu ambao wameambukizwa katika mikutano ile ama katika hizi events ambazo zimepita kwa hivyo tumeona tuwalike hawa wasanii na watu mashuhuri ili mtu pia anaye tuona apate ile picha sidhani kwamba hii ni jambo la serikali peke yake ama ni jambo la utalii peke yake hapana linahusu kila mtanzania ambaye yupo kwenye entertainment industry kwenye hizi sekta za burudani kwenye sekta za mapumziko kwenye sekta za mikutano uh, siasa kila kona ya maisha ya mwanadamu na ndio watu wetu wengi wapo huko kwa hivyo ndio maana leo unaona tuna CEO hapa wa AICC wenye wanahusika na mikutano yupo kuja kuwakilisha sekta nzima ya mikutano. Kwa hivyo uh, shughuli hii na mafanikio haya tuliyapata ya kupewa nembo hii ya kimataifa ya Safe Travels inaonesha ni namna gani tumepata mafanikio makubwa kwenye kudhibiti kusambaa kwa ugonjwa wa COVID-19. Na hapa kwa namna ya kipekee tunamshukuru sana na kumpongeza Rais Magufuli kwa kuongoza mapambano haya. Hatimaye tumefanikiwa. Majirani zetu walitucheka, walitungonga, walisema kila aina ya maneno. Lakini mwisho wa siku wamekuja kule ambako sisi tuliingia miezi mitatu iliyopita. Na kwa sababu kisayansi kama kujifungia ndani kulikuwa kunasaidia, maana yake wasinge pata ongezeko la cases kwenye nchi yao. Lakini leo ndio kesi zinaongezeka. Na leo sasa ndio wanafungua na biashara. Maana yake nini? It's counterproductive. Kwa hiyo wamejifungia, wameharibu uchumi wameharibu maisha ya watu kijamii lakini mwisho wa siku wamekuja kujifungulia wao wenyewe wameanza tena kufanya shughuli kama sisi kwa hivyo sisi maana yake rais wetu aliona mbali sana kabla yao na ndio maana sisi hatukujifungia na, na, na kwa heshima hiyo na kwa uongozi huu madhubuti ambao mheshimiwa rais ameutoa kwenye mapambano haya dhidi ya covid 19 ninadhamiria kwenda kumkabili hiki cheti cha safe travels Mheshimiwa Rais kwenye siku ambayo atapanga kwa sababu kimsingi yeye ndio sura ya nchi yetu na yeye ndiye mwakilishi wa Watanzania wote ambao wamefaidika na uongozi aliyoutoa kwa hivyo hii nembo kwa niaba ya wananchi wote wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania tutamkabili Mheshimiwa Rais Dr. John Pombe Joseph Magufuli kama heshima ambayo anastahili kwa kutufikisha kwenye mafanikio haya kwa hivyo nilipenda niseme hilo kwa lugha ya mama ili uh, tuelewane vizuri. Asanteni sana kwa kuja, asanteni sana kwa kunisikiliza na tuitumie nembo hii ipasavyo. Tupige kelele kweli kweli, dunia nzima wajue kwamba Tanzania ni salama na kwa sasa hivi sisi tunawahofia wageni kuliko sisi wenyewe. Ndipo kwa sababu tunataka dola zao hatuna namna tutawakaribisha lakini tutakuwa tunawataka wanawe mikono, wavae barakoa na masharti mengine. Sisi huku mtaani hakuna haja hata kuvaa barakoa. Tuko salama tunaaminiana tunashikana mikono tunakumbatiana maisha yanaendelea hakuna shida lakini kwa wageni tutakuwa makini kidogo kwa sababu tuna wasiwasi wanaweza wao wakatuletea corona ambayo hapa sisi tumeshapambana nayo na tumefanikiwa kuishinda asante sana asante sana mheshimiwa waziri thank you so much honorable minister The last item that is on our agenda was the vote of thanks. But before we move to that item, honorable minister, I wish to disturb you a little bit and ask you to come forward because I was reminded that I've forgotten a very important group of people that I think without them we would not have been here uh, enjoying this event. I had forgotten the people of Tanzania Tourist Board, the family members of Tanzania Tourist Board, the staff that have worked tirelessly. I know yesterday some of us slept here and this morning they had to take a shower close by and attend this event. So Madam Devotam Dachi, 
uh, our leader and our patriot in this um, family of TTB. Please come forward so that we can have representatives of um, staff of uh, TTB. Those committee members, but also whoever that is close by, even if you're not in the committee, please come forward so we can take a group picture with the minister to symbolize, yes, Deputy Minister, please, Mwanyakiti, Dr. Nzuki. Ladies and gentlemen, these young boys and girls, uh, ladies and gentlemen, old, young, all of them here at TTB, they've worked so hard together to complete this event of today, including myself, by the way. So I'm going to move to the picture. Okay. Two groups. Okay. Two groups. Let's do two groups. No, actually they can fit. If I can have, yes, they can fit. If I can have this uh, at the back. Move the other side, please. The other side is empty. Just move the other side. Let me ask two Okay, I'll have from Musa to Hosa. Um, the rest, move, a, move aside and then Tarudi for the second group. Up to Hosa. Up to Musa, yes. The rest, just step aside. We'll complete this group and then the group, another next group will come here. Next group, please. Thank you so much. Before you leave, before you leave, sponsors, all the sponsors, all the sponsors, Asantani TV, now sponsors Tanzania National Parks, Tanzania Wildlife Management Authority, Tanzania Forest Service, TFS, Ngorongoro Conservation Area Authority, Event and Exhibition Services, True Vision Production Limited, Serena Hotels, Kilimanjaro Audiovisual Services, Seashells Millennium Hotel, Revolution Events, Perfect Cleaning Services, Eden Catering, and last but not least, AG Ask Group for printing our folders and SOPs. These are our sponsors who in kind have contributed a lot of the things that are here today and we wish to recognize them, Honorable Minister and distinguished uh, frontliners, that without them this event will not have been a success. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for them. Thank you so much. Now I wish to call upon Mr. Richard Rugimbana for a vote of thanks. Mr. Rugimbana, your podium. So mine. Yes, it's all yours. Mimi na kazi moja tu kwa maana ya kutoa neno la shukurani. Na naamini wakati tunatoa neno la shukurani basi itakuwa ni safe stay kwa ajili ya muda mchache tu. Honorable Dr. Miski Gwangala, Minister, Minister of Natural Resources and Tourism. Honorable Constantine Kenyasu, Deputy Minister and the Minister of Natural Resources and Tourism, Ambassadors and Representatives or foreign representative. Dr. Lois Nzuki, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry, Honorable Judge Thomas Mihayo, Chairman of the Tanzania Tourism Board, Ms. Devota Mdachi, Managing Director of the Tanzania Tourist Board, Tourism Stakeholders, Journalists, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good Afternoon. On behalf of members of the Tourism Confederation of Tanzania and the Hotel Association of Tanzania and all tourism stakeholders, I would like to thank Honorable Judge Mihayo, Chairman of TTB, for inviting us to come and participate in receiving the Safe Travel Seal 
from the World Travel and Tourism Council. On a very special note, I would like to express our gratitude to the Fifth Phase Government under the leadership of Honorable John Pombe Magufuli, President of the United Republic of Tanzania, through your ministry, Dr. Amiski Gwangala, for continuing to work with the private sector in the whole issue of promoting tourism in Tanzania. We thank the Minister for launching the National Standard Operating Procedures, SOPs, in June 2020, which we have been using in our operations and enabling us to increase the confidence of the visitors we serve that Tanzania is certainly safe. I'm pleased to hear that the Tanzania is listed among other countries in the world that have been certified to have the authority to use the security seal along with the Tanzania Unforgettable Logo. Honorable Minister, we promise to make a good use of this seal in our efforts to grow our economy and achieve a high economy level. Our request to our government is that, as usual, you will continue to cooperate with us and continue to provide us with all the available information that will help us in continuing to serve tourists with the aim of increasing the number of tourists coming to Tanzania, thus making Tanzania certainly an attraction of all nations in the world. Let me end by thanking you all, Asante Nisana, Tanzania and Fegetro. Another round of applause for Mr. Richard Rugimbana, who is the representative of all the private sector who are being uh, determined or targeted uh, as users, main users of this stamp. Honorable Minister, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, uh, this marks the end of our event today. I did promise you that it will take a little bit before two hours, and we have just concluded it just before that time. So for another round, uh, we thank you for being here, Honorable Minister, for launching this temp. And from now onwards, this temp is going to be used. I understand Mr. Salam said that another concert of diamond, uh, this will be the logo that he's going to use. <laughs> so we thank you so much for that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, there are refreshments being organized and, um, uh, for, for you guys, but also members of the press would like to have another interview with uh, our distinguished uh, guest. So please feel free, within the given time, you'll be allocated to do interviews, but don't just focus on the front line. There's also representative from the hotels, from other private sector, from the management, and also members of the board of Tanzania Tourism Board. So feel free to pick uh, for an appointment to have an interview while you are enjoying refreshments and um, what has been prepared for us. Tanzania Unforgettable. Okay, another round, please. Tanzania Unforgettable. Thank you so much for coming. This marks the end. I was Mindy Kasiga, your host for this day, and I hope you have enjoyed. See you next time. Karibuni sana. If we can have the screen uh, videos, please, country videos and all the safety videos. President of WTTC, or World Travel Tourism Council, we represent the global private sector. And I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate Tanzania, especially the government, the Minister King Walgala. Yes, and it is a matter of our interview. I mean, like I am the co-presentation of the Tanzania may have a more nice and Salama Dibia, Macamano, Via Ugunja, Ama, Virus, Nilevia, Corona. Now, what about the Balum Rosa figure that can you do a Kilmo or Sani, a Kilmo of Rosa Serkali, Lupo Munaisi, Lupo Diamond Platinum, Modena, Lubuaki, WCB, or Rosa Fika, Pacat can you hear it? Now, he may walk on a Fura, eh, or found it was set a yaku. Kwa sababu ile Tanzania itaendelea kupata watalii zaidi na zaidi kwa sababu tunashuhudia majirani katika nchi jirani huko wakaendelea eh, kukumbana na changamoto eh, kuhusu swala zima la utalii lakini kwa Tanzania imekuwa salama hadi kufikia hatua ya kupata muhuri ya kuonyesha kwamba iko salama zaidi na hii ni nafasi nzuri hasa katika 
kutafuta fursa za kiutalii kwa sababu pia eh, ni miongoni mwa nchi sita Afrika ambazo zimeweza kupata nafasi hii ya kupewa muhuri. Tutaweza kuzungumza na watu mbalimbali pengine kusikia maoni yao na kutueleza eh, pengine wanazungumziaje hatua hii ambayo ni kubwa. Can you play again the WTTC? The WTTC video, can you replay it again? Thank you. My name is Julia Guevara. I am the CEO of President of WTTC, a World Banking Council. We represent the global private sector. And I would like to thank this 